I think that's still the root cause. Remembering all these late night conversations all while on his dying bed. Collins cello. It's kind of crammed out here. Let's head inside. Wow, seems like I ran into a poster sale. Or puberty? Pac-Man. I don't know what that is. That looks like a guitar. Well, it, I guess it's just a... This is also a guitar. I guess it's just collecting posters from uh, magazines about music, instruments. A Rudock plush toy sits in a bookcase. Oh, he doesn't play with it anymore. I mean, if you really want to fly so bad, Faye said, why don't you go and become a pilot? So this green book from the shelf is just a journal? Seems legit. A legit memento? Wait, what? Uh, assorted VHS tapes consisting of sci-fi classics and horror movies. I like that. I like that a lot. It's locked. Dang it. What are we gonna do? Poster of a tropical island surrounded by a lagoon and a barrier reef. An island. Hmm, that looks familiar. It's the same place as the painting hanging above his bed in his elderly days. Oh. He's also keeping this exact same picture in the attic even now. For a teenager, he sure had some old-fashioned taste in posters. Well, what else is in the room? With a balcony room like this, his parents sure are confident in his sleepwalklessness. Dude. It is still locked! Well, we don't got nothing else here. Let's just head back outside, I guess. Nothing in here. We're missing one. Uh, oh, the post of a horror movie. Huh, I didn't think he had an in him. Why? Kids love horror movies. Here's the thing, kids fucking love being scared. I know I did. I still do. Wow. Um, okay, this is gonna be, be a problem.
feel like this is the really clumsy way of doing things. Back in the plane. Well, so much for the cliffhanger of whether he became a pilot, hey? More like cliffhanger. Oakland Center, Cactus 135, cruising flight level 3 minor 0. Cactus 135, 35, Oakland Center, altimeter setting 3007 CR. Altimeter, set, altimeter 3007, Cactus 135, out. See, Greenhorn, you gotta play by the rules and use them proper radio words. Every single time. Even when you're not on the radio, at home to your wife. But the chief instructor said, Do I look like the chief instructor? Is her face also redoubled with this award-winning mustache? That's the only thing he remembers. Don't think I'll be going easy on you just because this is your first flight with the company. As my first officer, there are only two things I ever want to hear from you. There are yes, captain, and landing gear down. That's funny, sir. Do I look funny to you? No, you don't, sir. Why did I just say about the only two things I expect to hear from you? Yes, captain. So I do look funny to you. Uh, landing gear down. <laughs> Son of a god, this sent me all the brainless pretty ones. Do you really think I'm pretty? This can't be serious. Well, you know how memories get exaggerated sometimes, I hope. Okay, we got a note from Captain Ernest. Award-winning mustache. It's important information. It's gonna change everything. I had one request. Do not send me a gourd. And what do they do? They send me a gourd. So grumpy. Yes, Captain. Is he still keeping journals in this thing? It's just some sort of pre-flight checklist glued on here. A blurry pre-flight checklist glued onto the book's spine. Well, how was first day? Is Captain Ernest always like that? I barely did a thing but sit there. Huh, yeah, you should probably get used to that for a while. Who's Charlene? Forget about him though, you got any plans for the night? The other flight attendants and I were thinking of taking him out for some drinks to celebrate. I'll tell them thanks, but I'd better head straight back home. My wife's just about halfway into her first tri trimester. I'm away for long enough as it is. Wow, double congrats. Got a name picked yet? Yeah, we're thinking Asher. Cool. That's the memento. And what is that thing? Is that his hat? What is this symbol? We barely have any place for it. Ah, uh, well. All right. Go on, ask him. Oh, they're at the airport. This is for real. Um, excuse me. 
Are you an air airline pilot? It's a small municipal airport, kid. We won't find any airlines here. I'm a charter pilot. You looking to charter a plane? I'm looking to learn to fly. Can you teach me? Looking for an early start, huh? Sounds like you want to talk to the flight school instead. Make a turn up ahead and follow the hall. They'll deal with you at the dispatch. See, I told you it's worth a try. Oh, they have a heading now. What do we have here? Perry? Ah, give me my fix, you stupid thing. Why do I never learn? <laughs> okay, just doesn't work. What are you dogs doing? What in the world is that? Just leaving something for the class. Oh, they're supposed to draw a plane. Maybe the head should have been smaller for aerodynamics sake. Who cares? It's got extra propulsion coming out of its butt. Okay, I guess that solves it. What is this? A, a real cockpit. A poster of the control panel of a small aircraft. Well, at least we don't have to reach the clock this time. Wait a second. We're gonna... Are they buying snack? Well, of course they are. I bet he knows something about it. Hey, I don't think I've seen you around here before. Yeah, I'm trying to find out how to become a pilot. Oh, that's simple. You get an instructor and you train. I'm actually working on my own license, halfway down in fact. Isn't that expensive to train? Yeah, but that's why I'm working here part-time. The pay's not much, but the discounts of the training fi fl fl flights help. I think this painting was hanging in Colin's attic when I went there earlier. Took home a souvenir, I guess. It's a painting of a flying single-engine plane. Well, I guess they didn't actually buy anything. You could ask the dispatch folks about it down the hall. Alright, let's go ask. Man, yeah, let's go watch them ask. There's a difference. There are airplanes outside. I bet this is where they dispatch them. Oh, this Kathleen says. We do offer flight training and you do meet the requirements, but it's costly. Is there any other way at all? Well, that's not up to me to say, but... Why don't you check with the owner? He's on break right now and I'll let him know you're coming. The, the owner of the entire airport? Yep. It's his family-owned airport. His office is at the other side of the hall. Did you hear that? It's family-owned. What does that mean? It means that it's owned by a family, duh. And also that it's probably mafia. Mafia? Uh, what mafia? And I'm behind you, you know. Yeah, just like the Godfather. Let's go visit. W what? Why is <laughs> she so excited? Silly kids. It probably really is the mafia though. You've got to be kidding me. So, you're the kid they told me about. L 
Look, sir, I, I don't want any trouble. Of course you don't, son. There's word out there on the street that you want to become a pilot. Yes, sir. But you have no experience. No, sir. No background. No. And you have no money. I don't, sir. Yet you come here on the day of my own daughter's flight exam. Should I do a veto, Corleone? I don't think I can, man. Did you come here on the, on the day of my own daughter's flight exam to request my hospitality, to make use of my fellow facility without an offer? Do you disrespect me and my family's airport? Psst, tell me if God's strong arms can help out around the airport. Um. I got reasonably strong arms. Oh, are you saying you're up for work? Yes, you are. Yeah, I am. Hmm, interesting proposal. It's true. There have been a few positions opening up recently. Perhaps we could use a hand. Very well. Your offer is one I won't refuse. Another amaretto sour, Ricardo, and hold the amaretto. What is this? Really, is the mafia? What the fuck is going on? Kid, you work for me now, and with the earnings, you shall pay for your training, one flight at a time. Quick, thank you, and step back. Th thank you for your kindness, sir. See, you did it. Wait a minute! All that's happened is just that I applied for a job. Shh! You're practically the underboss now. <laughs> well, so uh, assume exaggeration of memories. Is this like racist to Italians? I can't tell. <laughs> Italian isn't a race, Neo. But he does seem to have a tendency for getting creative with his memories. And maybe that's just what he gets for watching that movie when he's eight. Anyhow, let's see if the Don has anything for us. First job. Yeah, we saw him watch The Godfather at home. Well, must have had a profound influence on him. An amaretto sour drink without the amaretto. Really? We're gonna fucking travel through this? I'm gonna... Where do you find a second pair of this to travel through? What? I think the cat broke. Alright, we need to fucking get out of here. This is getting weird. Alright, what? Black balls are just black balls, yeah. So that's halfway through. Well, can we just do this? Alright, it's not as... Why are we focusing on this drink? Whatever, just... He likes the drink, let's just get to another one. Oh, it's a date. Finally, some tropical air. We're getting to the middle. There you go, sir. Your amaretto sore. Hold the amaretto. Thanks, just the way I like it. And for you, lady, uh, your amaretto sore. Hold the sore. Why, thank you. I didn't know you guys make this. Wow, you two have <laughs> perfect match. Are you gonna be able to handle all that lemon juice? It's an old favorite. We're actually here. 
You've wanted to visit for a long time now, haven't you? Is it everything you dreamed of? Is it everything you dreamed it would be? Well, you've got expectations. But yes, it's still beautiful. How about you, though? Hmm? You know, spending half our savings on a delayed honeymoon and all that. Hey, now's not the time to think like that. We'll bounce back up. I got quite a few gigs waiting when we get back. Not to mention your new job, Mr. Airline Pilot. Don't jinx it. It might still be a while until I start with the company. Besides, the pay's not gonna be good for a while. Hey, as long as you get to wear the cool shades. I talked with Maria last week. We got the flexible hours arranged. So we're ready, huh? Yeah, as ready as we're as ready as we're gonna be. You know, this might be the last trip like this we'll have in a long time. Hey, we'll make that little bastard pay for all the vacations we missed one day. In the meantime, all the more reason to enjoy the rest of it. Here's to the rest of it. Yeah, here's. Oh shit. God fucking grab it, baby. Smooth fella. Regret sloppy start. I don't know if that counts as a regret. So far, I think all these regrets that we got are just distractions. The sloppy starts with a long way to the honeymoon. I don't think. Where are we, anyways? Oh. With the, the cloth? Is that what we're looking at? He's still cursing. What a fun guy! Let's explore the place. A small, uninhabited aquarium. Well, that seems redundant. Yeah, get some, get some living things in there. Isn't this nice? That marshmallows. Come on, Colin. The water's not that cold. Those marshmallows are totally gonna get overcooked. Yeah, he's. They're gonna get it. They're getting burned any moment now. Move along. Any moment now. Any moment now. Okay, it's. Quit wasting time. The object's frozen. It's not gonna get burned by itself. Oh. Well, that's too bad. We got the beds ready. It looks awfully uncomfortable. Come on, Colin. The water's not that cold. He's not going in. Alright, nothing here. the painting of Bora Bora. I actually don't know a lot about Bora Bora. Is this a Finding Nemo reference? Guys, Kangao, come on. A black piece of paper. Looks like he's about to lay down some rhymes. Why? What does he say? I want to I wanna read that if he's... If he was trying poetry, then I want to read that. Fear? You're still awake? Nope. Oh, what are you doing? I told you lemon juice is the way to go. Oh. And she's sleeping sideways, and she's drooling, and he's smiling. That's adorable. Well, she sure isn't much of a graceful sleeper. Nobody is after that much lemon juice.
lost it, the whole thing. And we still have... Hmm, I think there's still some stuff in here we haven't checked. Okay, if you say so, then we're staying. We already saw this thing. It's a black piece of paper, so okay, he does. He hasn't read any. He hasn't written anything here. That hibiscus. This is more of a suitable place for that kind of flower. All right. Uh, the hibiscus was, I think, one of the things we saw in his house. The family kept a pot of hibiscus around the house, and they said it's something like. I think the son Ash Asher said it's always been here. Yay! Backtracking. Is this a beach? There, are like. One thing I've noticed uh, about these uh, free bird games is that they they have a really good grasp on what the player is thinking. Uh, almost at all times, at least from my perspective, it's like they just get me. Like they would insert these little jokes about traditional RPGs. And sometimes, like uh, there was this moment into the moon I was really impressed with is uh, when they were discussing. Uh, they went back to Johnny's childhood and they were discussing something they talked about in a previous memory a while back. And they actually jumped back and showed a flashback of that memory just be I guess just because they expected that players might forget about it. It's been a while and I, I really think these details are very considerable. Oh shit. How are we gonna do this? All four down under are out. Okay. Oh man, this is trapped. What is like? been juggling with the wrong balls. What's a piece of dirty cloth is gonna take this? Well, I, I, th I think young Colin gotta be training right now. Or cleaning. One or the other. Hey! Your shift's just about to start at the, at the shop. Okay, I'm almost down here. Did you ever get your homework down yet? I'll do it when there's no customers. Sneaky, I like it. Did you get yours done? Hee <laughs> hee, good one. I don't, I don't think so. All right, let's see what the young fellas are up to. That's dangerous. You should really get down from there. Well, young and dangerous. That's how you live. Biggest mysteries so far definitely is where did Faye go and when did Sophia come in? I mean, everything we've seen from the first half of his life so far has been heavily surrounding Faye, and the latter half is all about Sophia. And it seems like he really loves both of them. There's no, there's no pretense in his affection for either one. And so why did? They, why did it divide it so completely? I got everything prepared and ready, sir. I've done every weight and balance calculation, pre-flight checkup, and document check. Cool, but the wind's picking up, so your solo cross-country flight's cancelled. Why does this always happen to me? Aww. 
He's cleaning the shop. Psst, that new kid they hired is really quiet. Yeah, but at least he gets the work done. Doesn't he have a scheduled flight this, af this afternoon? Yeah, but we are playing short because someone snagged a blown tire. And then someone gets cancelled. I don't think he'll get to fly. Does he even have an instructor yet? Beats me. Well, that guy just got cancelled. Hey, I think they're talking about you. I know. Being self-aware. That one tile he keeps sweeping must be super clean. Yeah, I'm sure. Every single time. You wanna help out, Colin? Here, let me get that for you. You just gotta unhook it from the inside and... Wow, that is some crazy maneuvering, kid. I've been here for years and I could never figure that thing out. You must have like some kind of a magical vending power. Um, I only know because I have to clean it, so... Hey, magical vending power. Don't turn that down, that's an ultimate compliment. Well, if I believe my Top Gun lore pilots, it takes a lot for them to compliment each other because their ego, but of course Top Gun is really, or any Tom Cruise movie probably is not a valid reference for knowing one's profession. Okay, here's twenty-four dollars and change. Wow, that's um a lot of pennies. It's okay. I'll have all. I have all day. This guy doesn't. Hurry up and count the pennies, kid. You're holding up the line. That's not his fault. It's this lady's. Don't yell at the lady. She's watching the painting. Just like that, huh? I guess everyone has the reason to start flying. Mm, and what about you? Well, just between you and me, flight instructing isn't my real passion. In fact, before I came here to teach, I was an acrobatic sky riding pilot. Wow. Wow, like making stuff appear in the sky with plane trails? Yep, I was darn good too. But then I got fired. Why? Total discrimination, I tell ya. It was all cause they found out I'm an illiterate who dropped out of school. Did they care that I was the most skillful pilot in the fleet? No! But just cause I don't read good, they dropped it like a hot potato. Ah, rouse me, I'm just thinking about it. Yeah, that really doesn't sound fair. Well, um, maybe if I need your service one day, I'll be able to hire you. Thanks, kid. Man, first you gave me my soda, then you vow to give me give my life meaning again. I see that I'm gonna have to flight instruct the heck out of ya. That's not bad. That went well. Yeah, it did went well. Uh, well, she's sleeping. She sure makes herself at home. She does. <laughs> 